Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we will be looking at counting in fractions. So for our success criteria, I know the difference between an improper fraction and a mixed number. And I can use this knowledge to place fractions in a number line. Let's start with this fraction. We have 19 over 5, which is an improper fraction. It is an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So we will change this improper fraction into a mixed number. We know that our whole number here is 5 over 5. Now, to change this improper fraction into a mixed number, we can just simply divide 19 divided by 5. So how many 5 goes into 19? So there are 3 5s goes into 19. So 3 times 5 equals 15. And we take away 19, take away 15 equals 4. Now we can have our mixed number. The 3 here is our whole number. And 4 is our numerator. And 5 is our denominator so that is how you turn an improper fraction into a mixed number let's try this practice question circle the fractions that are greater than one so we have this fraction six over eight six over eight is a proper fraction so what is an what is a proper fraction a proper fraction is when the numerator is smaller than the denominator. And proper fraction is not greater than 1. Now, let's look at this 11 over 8. 11 over 8 is an improper fraction. An improper fraction is when the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So, improper fraction is greater than 1 so we will circle 11 over 8 so 8 over 8 is a whole is one whole and 4 over 8 is a proper fraction and it's not greater than 1 and 1 and 1 8 is greater than 1 because we have a whole number 1 and a fraction 1 8 now, another one is 1 and 3 eighths is greater than 1 because we have a whole number 1 and a fraction 3 eighths. So, these three fractions are greater than 1. We have two mixed numbers, 1 and 1 eighths and 1 and 3 eighths, and we have an improper fraction 11 over 8. This 2, 6 over 8, and 4 over 8 is less than 1, and 8 over 8 is 1 whole. So we have here a sequence which increases by 2 tenths every time. So what we will do here is we are going to shade the bar models to show the next 2 fractions in the sequence. So here we have a sequence which increases two tenths every time. So we are going to shade the bar models to show the next two fractions in the sequence. So the fraction increases by two tenths every time. So what is the bar models going to look like? So in our first bar model, our denominator here is 10 and the shaded part let's count the shaded part 1 2 3 4 5 and 5 is our numerator so my fraction has to increase so 5 10 is our first fraction in our first bar model 
So it says here that we have to increase the fraction by two tenths every time. So my fraction has to increase by two tenths every time. So what's the next fraction going to be? So I'm going to add here two tenths every time because it has to increase two tenths every time. Now let's add the numerator 5 plus 2 equals 7 and our denominator 10. So our next fraction is going to be 7 over 10. Now let's shade our next bar model. So our next bar model is going to look like this. So let's shade our next bar model. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So for my next bar model, I need to add again 2 over 10. So 7 over 10, and it increases 2 tenths every time. I need to add again 9. I need to add 2 over 10. So 7 plus 2 equals 9 over 10. So our third fraction is going to look like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So our fraction is 9 over 10. So next, what fraction is represented by the bar model below? So the first thing we need to do, so the first thing that we need to figure out here is what is our denominator? So for this first fraction, so what is our denominator in this bar model? So in each bar model, we have 4. So our denominator is 4. So for our numerator is how many parts? So how many parts we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 4 parts. And for our denominator is how many we shaded in? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 shaded in. So 9 is our numerator. So 9 over 4 is an improper fraction. So if I wanted to turn 9 over 4 into a mixed number, so I will just count how many holes here. The hole 1, 2. So we have 2 and how many left over. So our shaded here 1 and 4. So 9 over 4, when we change it into a mixed number, is equals two and one fourth so let's ignore this mixed fraction for now now it says here write the next two fractions needed if the sequence increase by two quarters each time so now i have nine quarter and each time is increased by two quarters so i will add two over four so my first sequence will be 9 plus 2 equals 11 over 4. And next, and next to 11 over 4, we will add 2 fourths equals 13 over 4. As we increase two quarter each time so our next number would be that's two fourth would be 15 over four so 15 quarter so let's move on to our next example which fraction comes next in the sequence below circle the correct answer so we have our fractions here one fifth three fifth five over five which is one whole seven fifth and what's next 
as you observe our fraction here increased by two fifth so one fifth increased by two fifth so each time they increase by two fifth so one fifth plus two fifth is three fifth three fifth plus two fifth is five over five plus two fifth is five over five and five over five plus two fifth is seven over five so what would come after each time we're adding by two so seven over five plus two over five so our next fraction would be nine over five so seven over five plus two fifth equals nine over five so next we have complete the sequence our fractions here 13 over 4 11 over 4 9 over 4 and our next two fractions so before we can rewrite the sequence using our mixed numbers we need to fill up these two fractions over here so as you observe our fractions they decrease by two so we take away two 11 13 take away 2 is 11 11 take away 2 is 9 9 take away 2 it's 7 and 7 take away 2 it's 5 now we have our sequence now we can rewrite the sequence using our mixed numbers so for the first one 13 over 4 we write we will rewrite this as a mixed number so we need to think how many four goes into 13 so we can divide 13 divided by 4 so we have 3 so 3 times 4 equals 12 and 13 take away 12 is 1 so we have 3 whole number and our numerator 1 for 11 over 4 so 11 we divide it by 4 how many 4 goes into 11 so we only have 2 so 4 times 2 equals 8 and 11 take away 8 equals 3 so we have our whole number 2 and our numerator 3 and our denominator is 4 for 9 over 4 so how many 4 goes into 9 so we only have two fours goes into nine and we have our whole number two and our numerator one denominator is four for seven over four so how many four goes into seven there's only one and seven take away th four equals three so our whole number is one and our denominator is four numerator is three and for 5 over 4, how many 4 goes into 5? So there's only 1. And our whole number is 1. And our numerator is 1. Denominator is 4. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and press the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Bye-bye!